Cries and Whispers is a film about how we are all isolated experiences and feelings and the expression and comfort that we all need from each other. This 1972 film by Swedish director Igmar Bergman features Liv Ullman as Maria, Harriet Anderson as Agnes, Ingrid Thulin as Corinne, Erlen Josephson as the doctor, and Carice Silvan as Anna. The story takes place in the late 19th century in a mansion where three sisters, one of whom is dying of cancer, are separated by a tissue of lies and are unable to communicate with each other. One of the themes in the film is, is existential isolation. Agnes expresses her pain by crying out, but her sisters keep their own pain bottled up. Another theme in the film is warmth represented by the maid Anna who provides the film's human element in contrast to other characters in the film, especially sisters Corinne and Maria who are both cold and distant. Another theme in the film is redemption. Symbolically, Agnes is Christ, bearing the sins and suffering of her sisters, giving her own voice to the pain that they feel but are incapable of expressing themselves. Isolation is a universal condition in this film. Agnes appears to be the main character this condition applies to, but she isn't because of their maid, Anna, who is always there to comfort her when she cries out. It is Agnes's mother and two sisters who have no comfort and who are isolated and incapable of expressing their pain and feelings. This film is about existential loneliness, the silences, the tissues that prevent us from touching each other. Though there is pain and unhappiness in their lives, none of the film's characters are able to share their pain with each other, nor do they cry out for help like Agnes, whose cries for help are answered by Anna. Corinne has no one to share her feelings with. Maria is too selfish, and Frederick, her husband, is too insensitive. Therefore, Corinne expresses her pain in self-destructive ways such as mutilating her private parts. Joachim also has no one to share the pain caused by his cheating wife and attempt suicide. The sister's mother has no one to share her loneliness with except Agnes whom she neglected. But, this, but it is because of this isolation and neglect that Agnes is able to relate to her mother. Like Agnes, the servant Anna, who lost her daughter to an illness, knows also what it's like to feel lonely and isolated, which is why she can relate to Agnes. Suffering is another universal condition in the film in which Corinne and Maria are contrasted against Agnes and Anna. Corinne and Maria were favored by their mother and in the context of, the, of this theme of suffering never experienced the isolation or loneliness that would have given them empathy. Their callousness towards each other, their sister, Anna, and their husbands are consistent throughout the film. Anna and Agnes, on the other hand, have suffered in ways that made them sensitive to other su suffering. This is why Agnes relate, related better to her mother, even though her mother neglected her in favor of Maria and Corinne. Agnes suffered in isolation and loneliness, which helped her understand her mother's isolation and loneliness. Anna suffers quietly as a maidservant among employers who look down on her. This and the death of her ill daughter makes her able to comfort and relate to Agnes's pain. Anna is the only person who expresses warmth in the film. This is beautifully shown when she opens her, bl her blouse to press Agnes's head on her breast. This is also suggested when Corinne tells the maid to start a fire. By contrast, Corinne and Maria are cold to their sister Anna, their husbands, and towards each other. By not receiving any warmth herself, Corinne is unable to provide any to her husband. 
Corinne's and Maria's relationships with their husbands and each other are based on lies. The doctor points this out in the scene where he reads Maria's face and characterizes the lines in it as artifice, deceit, coldness, unconcern, and selfishness. In a scene late in the film, she shares an intimate moment with Corinne where they appear to open up to each other. L later, however, Corinne reminds Maria of this conversation and Maria smiles coldly. Her marriage to Joachim, who knows about her affairs with the doctor, is a lie. When Anna comes back from the dead and pleads for Maria's comfort, she, after first pretending to care about Agnes's pain, comes up with a superficial excuse to get out of comforting her dead sister. Corinne's lie is silently putting, putting up with her husband because of his wealth and position while at the same time despising him and faking periods to get out of sleeping with him. Sin in this movie is synonymous with the color red which has a lot to do with the inside of the human body or the human heart. Here are some examples of how red as sin is used as a theme in this film. For example, the red interior of the mansion is Agnes's body. Red is also the color of the nightgown Maria wears to seduce the doctor into having sex. The red fade-ins and outs are always associated with pain of some sort like the flashback of Maria's husband attempting to commit suicide because of her infidelity. Red is also a metaphor associated with the self-mutilation scene involving Corinne. Agnes in this film is the Christ figure, carrying the burden of sins for everyone through her own physical suffering. Corinne, Maria, and Anna have on white dresses at the beginning of the film to show that they have been washed by Agnes bearing their pain for them. These were just a few perspectives that I got from watching Igmar Bergman's great film Cries and Whispers. Thank you for watching this video. I would appreciate if you would leave a like or a comment. Also in the comment section, in the description section, the, the description, you will find a link to my film blog. So thank you and I appreciate it and I'll see you next time.